guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. Pies are okay, but cakes are better. Cakes come in all different sizes, shapes, and colors. So naturally, I wanted to do a very colorful one. Before we begin, I wanted to let you guys know that this is not my design. While I was browsing, I saw this cake on the Betty Crocker website. I am not affiliated, this is not a sponsored video, but I just saw the cake and I loved it and I wanted to recreate it in miniature for my toys. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys will learn how to make an absolutely colorful funfetti roll cake. Of course, you can use as many pieces as you'd like and use them as necklaces, earrings, pins, magnets, anything that you want. You don't just have to use this as an ornament. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Ecru, translucent, white, yellow, red, orange, green, blue, and pink polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. With most of the colors, we will be making our own fake sprinkles. Rounded and pointy tools, cutters, wires or eye pins, a star-shaped cutter. If not, you can also make your own stars by hand. Liquid Sculpey, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean up your piece from fingerprints or dust particles. To make the sprinkles, roll out your yellow, blue, green, orange, white, and red really thin. Bake them for 5 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Now chop the baked strands to the size you want. I'm using a zip bag to cut them, otherwise they will fly all over the place. I made enough to last me a few projects. Mix a small amount of ecru to white ratio to get a pale yellow brown. Flatten it thin. Now you're going to flatten your white much thinner. You're going to put the white on top and roll them together. Cut off the ends to get something that looks like this. It's looking really good so far. Now take an even thinner piece of white and roll it on the outside for the outer cream. Remove all the excess clay and smooth the bottom seam with your fingers. Now you're going to take a needle tool or toothpick and go in really tiny circular motions to make the texture. Make the rainbow chips by adding colors to the cake and then texturing it in. Of course, if you want slices, make sure you cut them before texturing the big roll. Now put lots of liquid Sculpey on the outside of the cake and dunk it in the sprinkles to cover all of the outside frosting, except for the bottom part. Like so. To make the candles, mix the color you want with some translucent and shape the star. For the regular candles, use translucent clay and shape it much thinner on top. Now cut small wires and place them under the candles, put some liquid Sculpey, and then place the candles on the cake. Bake for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once it's baked, Feel free to paint the plain candles in any color that you want, just to make them stand out a little more. All done! What is your favorite flavor of cake? Mine would have to be a carrot cake with the cheese frosting. Let me know in the comment section below. Equally, if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.